Jamie, this is a community issue. Leadership from the NAACP say they hope their insight can help the school better understand what happened and can help them better handle situations like this in the future. Trinity leadership and several local organizations met at the Manchester Police Department to discuss this incident and how to address situations like this moving forward. Last week, the school announced the student who posted that racist picture on Instagram no longer attends Trinity after the post went viral. James McKim, president of the Manchester branch of the NAACP, says today's meeting was productive and that he's feeling optimistic. Trinity President Nathan Stanton says tomorrow the school will begin having conversations with students, faculty and staff, and that will continue throughout the rest of the school year. Tomorrow is all about listening to the students, listening to the faculty, and we're going to continue to do that above and beyond just tomorrow. Um, I think that, you know, we've all learned a lot from this entire experience, um, and, and it, we're really looking forward to having the kids back to school, the faculty back to school, and just hear, hearing them and, and giving them the opportunity to share what's going on in their mind. And today there was also a lot of discussion about the social media and misinformation element of all of this. I'll have those details coming up tonight at 730. Live in Manchester, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.